this shady bridge here in Chicago, but this is the perfect location to talk to you about my new cinema camera and the gimbal I'm gonna try to fly it on. Let's go. So today we're gonna talk about two hot pieces of gear. A few months ago I got the Panasonic EVA1, a legit cinema camera, I'm super stoked to finally share it with you on this channel. And then the other day Feiyutech emailed me and was like, hey do you want to test one of our gimbals? And I was like, hmm, let's see what you got. And I saw on their website the AK4500, which has a payload, which should be able to carry my EVA1. So let's try it out and see if they work. So let's figure out if it works or doesn't. Oh, and since we're talking about gear in this video, there will be a giveaway. So make sure to stick around to find out how you can win an AK4500 and start commenting below on what you would do with such gimbal. Let us know. Let's quickly touch on why you would get a cinema camera like this in the first place. I had two reasons. On the one side, it ups your production value. No surprise here, the image quality is generally much higher than what you get out of a DSLR. But it's also more versatile in terms of the features it comes with as well as what you can mount on it. And the second reason for me is it pushes my boundaries. I'm a learn as you go kind of guy and new gear always pushes me to up level my understanding of certain aspects in the filmmaking process. As you may know, I learned everything I know about filmmaking on YouTube and through trial and error. This is just the next step. I already tried flying this camera on a glide cam and oh boy, even with a contraption that takes all the weight off my wrist, there is no freaking way that I can hold this longer than 30 seconds. I mean, seriously, Devin Graham, how are you doing this? There is no freaking way that I'm gonna fly the EVA1 on a glide cam, and that brings me to the AK4500. Feiyutech sent me this gimbal for review but they didn't have any editorial control over what I'm saying in this video. We keep it 100 on this channel so expect my honest opinion. Feiyutech calls it the Godzilla gimbal, others call it the Ronin killer. In this video I'm not going to do a standard review because honestly there are so many already out there but instead I'm going to walk you through what I think are the standout features of this gimbal and make it really differentiate from the other top-line DSLR gimbals in the market right now. Out of the box this gimbal comes with a ton of accessories and what really stood out to me is that it included a follow focus which you usually have to buy separately with the other gimbals. Obviously it comes at a price with $749 as the starting price. Um, it is definitely more expensive than the Mose R2 and the Ronin S but if you would have to add the follow focus to those two gimbals you roughly come out at the same price. But the key differentiator with this gimbal compared to the other ones in the market is that you have the option to buy a ring frame like this one for a two-handle setup. I feel like this is absolutely necessary if you want to fly a cinema camera including its monitors on a gimbal like this size because not only does it equally distribute the weight on both sides but it also allows you to mount monitors on top of it which helps you in framing and focusing your shot. Focus, 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 focus. What I find incredibly useful is the ability to lock the motors for transportation or for the setup. The Ronin S doesn't have that feature and the Moser Air 2 has only the ability to lock one of their motors. I just don't like my, my gimbal to flap around in my in my backpack. It's no 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 bueno, no fun. Ah! Ugh. The other part that really stood out to me was the touch screen. I didn't expect it to be that useful, but it turns out it makes you so much more efficient to go through the settings and you don't have to use the app at all. Another really cool accessory that comes included with this gimbal is this magic wand, what Feiyuk Tech calls Hyperlink. Not only can you use it to pull focus, but by the move of your wrist, you can move the gimbal. I haven't really tested it in a real world scenario but I can imagine with a two operator setup and second operator could just use it to pull focus and move the gimbal. You usually see this kind of feature only with gimbals that are much much more expensive so it's dope to see it actually coming in this package. 
It is definitely not built for cinema cameras and you're limited in terms of what lenses you can use in order to have a workable weight distribution. If the lens is too heavy, you will have to push back the camera so far that it hits the motor and then you're limited in its movement, in the range of movement. So you will have to keep it to shorter, physically shorter and lighter lenses up front so that you find the right weight balance to make it work. Now, with all this said, let's put this combo to a test and explore Chicago and see what kind of cinematic footage we can capture. I will see you back at home with more info on the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this footage and the tiny tour of Chicago, but before I tell you my final thoughts and experience of working this gimbal with this camera together, I will share with you how you can win this gimbal. Three easy steps. First, join a notification mob by simply subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And second, let us know down in the comments below what you would do with this gimbal. And third, there's a link in the description to submit your entry into this contest. The most creative comment wins. I will announce the winner in about four weeks time in my next video and will also notify you directly. But now, let's get into the verdict. You wanna come up here? So let's talk about battery life first. I was running around for about three hours and I'm down at one bar of four. So about at 25%. I would expect this gimbal to hold up for about four hours with a heavy camera setup like this mounted on it. Second, the focus motor actually came in very handy during the shoot to adjust the focus throughout. And the knob here to adjust the focus is actually perfectly positioned for your thumb. So that was great. However, it gave up on me about 75% into the shooting time and then I couldn't use it at all. I was not able to restart it. There were lights blinking and uh, I went through the normal setup process and calibration process. I don't know what's wrong. I have to talk with Feiyutech, which have actually a great customer service. I want to call this out as well. Third is this magic wand, the Hyperlink. Yeah, it's super, actually super, super helpful. In particular, if you want to have your gimbal set up stationary and one half smooth motions. This was actually the most useful piece because these little knobs that you find on your gimbal are not that actually precise. So using this hyperlink was surprisingly delightful and uh, I think this is definitely one of the unique selling points of this gimbal and I, I really enjoyed it. And fourth, the gimbal itself on how it stabilized the camera and this is a tricky one. At some point it started vibrating again and I, I, I haven't changed the weighting structure, I haven't changed the, the calibration, um, but it particularly started when it was tilting down. So it was definitely getting out of its comfort zone and then it starts swinging itself into a vibration habit um, that is obviously not wanted and, and defeats the purpose. I attribute that to the heavy, heavy camera setup and I would expect a normal DSLR to work perfectly on it. Overall, I think it's a great gimbal and comes with all the bells and whistles you would expect from a high-end consumer gimbal, like time-lapse modes, you can set your camera settings once you hooked it up here. It's a solid, solid, solid gimbal if you want to put a DSLR or a mirrorless camera on it. But on the other side, I would not recommend this gimbal if you run a cinema camera on it, because if you own such camera, you're likely in situations where you 100% have to rely on your gear and have it just work. But again, I think it's a great gimbal for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and in your capable hands you will be able to shoot, shoot amazing footage. I cannot wait to hear from you what you would film with it. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a good morning, have a good night, have a wonderful day wherever and wherever you are around this beautiful planet. Bye bye.
quick, just wanted to announce the winner of the Loop Deck Plus giveaway from my last video. First of all, thank you so much for all the amazing comments. I read them all. Super creative stuff in there. And um, it was so hard for me to pick actually a winner. Didn't expect it to be that hard. Uh, but eventually the depth of this creative comment made the difference to me. So congratulations, The Way. Not sure what your real name is, but you just won a Loop Deck Plus. Um, so that's awesome. And uh, then there was this comment by Chris Springer, who shared the story of his girlfriend's sister, who has a form of autism and recently showed interest in video editing. So to support her on this journey, I want to send out my own Loop Deck Plus to her and, and you know, kickstart hopefully a video editing career. Uh, so Chris and The Way, please email me and everyone else, have a good morning, have a good night, you know the drill. Cheers, bye bye.